attended to your nooks and crannies lately? This is about a granny now. My mom about the cranny. Okay, so you prefer a cranny over a nook. Yeah, same as a nook. So would you say you have sort of like a like a like a reading cranny? Or a cooking cranny? No, I just got I just got my one cranny and I just crawl up inside there. And yeah. I don't leave except for these jam. Then I go home and crawl back in my cranny okay, okay. until next Friday. I mean, I've always wondered where you go. And it's good to know you have a nice, comfy, cramped little cranny annex. Yeah, it's my headquarters. My, my cranny headquarters. <laughs> cranny HQ? Cranny HQ. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I hope... I'm sure you've decorated it nicely. Oh, my surveillance monitor. I won't take offense that you haven't invited me over. Just to check out the new place and... You know, I mean, how long have you been there? Who remembers? <laughs> well, I, I would hope you I was would. Born there. Oh. Oh. How, how old are you? You're not like some crazy, super old, immortal being or something like that, or like a robot or something. I don't know, man. I think that solved a whole lot in the lore of who you really are, and I'm happy to know you, you know? Likewise. Patty, you've always been a caretaker. I don't know if from my cranny. Thanks, buddy. You've always been a caretaker and a cranny giver, and I, <laughs> I'll just run into that cranny every time, bud. <laughs> Good talk.